Hey, Antavius, are you just kind of hanging out and following along? All right. If you're next. Uh, long term is still at uh, negative point sixteen. Okay. Short term went down to point two zero. Point two zero. All right, you're good. So now we're going to go to your cruising fifteen hundred, two thousand twenty-five. Three and up to four. All the way to four. Yeah. Now you can probably skip the reason about room. Go straight to four. So in the 5500 range, it gives me a huge difference in my EFR. Came down by point. Is it just one spot now? You should pick about that, I guess. Yeah. We didn't change it by much. The, you did. You had the fuel B change, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll practice the same numbers for, uh, yeah. At least I'll definitely be open to this. If you happen to catch it downhill. Uh, All right. You know so we went. Nine cent off. Yeah. yeah. It's not, this one is more academic than anything else. Mm -hmm. Get that one spot. Rear's looking ahead later, we'll deal with it. So go ahead and grab your uh, 6,000 to 8,000. Grade 500, rather, sorry. Did you do that with your snow brakes? Uh, yeah, 8,500 is really easy on that. The down and back thing, or? Yeah, it's like the little bumps on the road, and there's a right end on the right. I think last time we did stuff, we went down here past this light, and there was like a big complex on the left hand side. So we went down. Yeah. It's kind of the same area. Yeah, I think that is the one that we did. Yeah. But if you go past that a little bit, then Sometimes it only takes one, sometimes it takes six. It just depends on how far off it is. <laughs> so 
Sometimes you got to learn the whole thing. Oh, the mass, yeah. Yeah, the mass is huge, Dan. How many, how much power does the air have? He's probably saying pretty close to 3, 310. He was saying he had it on a dyno before the new thing. I'm definitely worth your money. Yeah. But if you can, like stand alone and see able to do all this kind of stuff. Or, so. All the mechanical stuff, yeah. yeah not being like that. No, no. No, I've been looking hard for somebody, like I was saying to you guys last night, for someone to be a successor. I thought this was mine, but it's just a huge turn of time and I have other stuff like school going on. I don't really want to take on any more work, but I feel really bad. I don't want the knowledge to die either, right? Because I'm, as far as I know, I'm the only one telling anybody how to do this, and everybody else is like teaming to do this. So that's really where I keep getting sort of sucked back into it, just because I want, I really want there to be a discussion happening either on the A Club or wherever. Well, that's cool. You want that's a discussion that's around. happening of what everybody is doing and why. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I get worked up about that as well, so. I, mean, I could very easily be wrong. I don't know. Yeah. But I, all I can tell you is what the conclusion that I came to and why, yeah. along with the fact that I've never had misfire issues after I made that change on my vehicle but, or any other vehicle. Then. Doesn't necessarily mean that I'm right. I mean, that's my operation. If I still have my RX8, I would drive as well map. I, Maybe I, it's better. I don't know. When we did the whole thing, I added that well map. Honestly, not running anything crazy. I didn't notice anything that was very sensitive. But I never have the ability to test it. You never get a misfire from it. You never get. That's really yeah. It's either you get ignition or you don't. So either yeah. you, if you had misfires before and you put hidden maps on and you didn't, pretty safe to say that that was secure. Yeah. And vice versa. Yeah. It's so funny. Fucking dude. He did say, he said in in that form like two pages ago, he did do the whole like well it looks like it's this, we should probably investigate this thread. And he was right, and that's the method of which Holtman then just essentially screwed up the rest of everybody and was like, here's the table. And, and so it says, where were you a year ago? It seems like I said this a year ago. Oh. It's like, well, you, and they're all like, well, you did. But you didn't just give it to me. That kind of Did he even give you the math? I don't understand what, what he was I saying. I think what he was saying is he said something along the lines. He said he gave Holtman essentially the, the logic behind what Holtman ended up doing. They, they both came to the same conclusion, but Holtman gave you the numbers. And he gave you the this is this this and this. So it was should, one of those should you, equal this. Put right. in the numbers and you'll figure it out. But was it one of those like you got to multiply it by ten, divide yeah, by? Yeah, yeah. You get, when you start getting the conversions like that, I get nervous because what's basically saying is like if I do this math, it makes this into a millisecond. Yeah. Which I feel like should be pretty accurate. Yeah. Versus putting a oscilloscope on it and actually measuring, yeah. uh, maybe uh, what's his name did measure it. No, I haven't really followed that closely. Uh, no, um, Holton. He actually put an oscilloscope on it. He did put a scope on it. I mean that that would be the only definitive way to do it. Yeah. The table says 33.11, and you put a scope on it, and it's 3.331 milliseconds. Yeah. Got it. Bang on. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of those things where I was just reading it. I'm totally just fucking crazy. It's yeah. like, give me, I'm stupid for the answers. I don't want to blow anything up. 
Well, the thing is, in this, you know, the uh, reality is, is that nobody from Mazda called anybody from the RX-8 club and gave them all the information of what's going on. So we're all guessing, myself included. And so to get worked up because you're right or wrong about something is, I think, a sign of a very thin skin, I guess. Yeah. I'm perfectly willing to be wrong. If I'm wrong and it helps somebody else out, I'm wrong all day. Yeah. Same thing, man. More power to you. One of the cool things about my old job as a project manager is once I solve the problem one time, I got to move on to a different problem. Right. So I think that's that plus my dedication to learning an entire new programming language after 10 years of being out of the field. Yeah. It's a combo. Like, I already know it works. I already know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. You can get it to work for you. Then it's just a matter of somebody else taking it and saying, I need to clean this up and make it into a usable yeah. thing. And I was perfectly willing to do that when I knew the language. But learn an entirely new language while developing what's a, a pretty complicated piece of software. Yeah. Math itself isn't terribly complicated, but all no, the it's other it's stuff is. Math parts is always the huge part and that makes it relevant. Right, it's always controlled now. It's got to It's not like you're doing relativity. You're doing this by this. Statistical. Yeah. And then it's it's the user. How much longer you got? Speakers on, so if someone starts hollering or, or chatting or whatever, feel free to answer them. We have not abandoned them. <laughs>
All right, Isaac, you're back. Yep. yep. All right. Did you get your matrix all worked uh, I up? I did, yeah. 